Hello students, this is Neha Mathur and today in this video we are going to discuss two basic laws related to network theory and they are most popularly known as Kirchhoff's law because both the laws are given by scientists known with the name of Kirchhoff. So, we have to discuss, we are going to discuss Kirchhoff's law. This Kirchhoff law is basically very useful from network theory perspective because in the upcoming videos we will discuss about uh, more complex theorems which is useful to solve complex circuit. But these two laws, these two theorems are the basic foundation for the network theory because the concept which you are getting today from these two laws is going to be very useful to solve all the complex circuits fine. So, today we are going to discuss these two theorems. The first one is KCL as the name itself indicating KCL that is Kirchhoff's current law and the second one is KVL Kirchhoff voltage law. Both the theorems is given by a scientist Kirchhoff fine and both the theorems are just giving the basic information about current and voltage when you are applying these in any circuit. So, we are going to discuss one by one what is the statement about these two theorems and how you are going to use uh, both the concept in order to solve any simple circuit in network theory. So, we are going to start with KCL that is Kirchhoff current law. See, according to this law, according to this theorem, you can say that the total current at any node in any circuit, if it is entering or it is leaving from the node is going to be equals to 0. This is the simple statement about this theorem. I am again repeating that the total current, it may be enter the current may be entering or leaving from any node is equals to 0. Now the question is what is the node basically? So, node is nothing but just a point where two or more circuit elements are joined. So, Whenever you, are anal whenever you are going to analyze the circuit, you may find one or more number of nodes and according to KCL, the total current at that specific node is going to be 0 or you can say is the total current or the algebraic sum of total current at that node is equals to 0. See, how is it possible? I am just taking, I am not considering any circuit, I am just taking one node. Here I have one node, node means where two or more circuit elements are joined. So, just take it like I have one branch, two branch, three branch, four branch, five branch. I am taking five branches, you can take more than two because node is where two or more branches are joined. So, here I am taking five branch branches. Now, as per the concept of KCL, the total current at this node I am going to give a name to this node. Let us assume that it is a node A. Now, the total current at this node is equals to 0 as per the concept of KCL. Now, the thing is what about the directions of the current? So, if it is not given, you can consider it at your own, uh, at your own concept. You can make it uh, like entering current toward the node or if you want, you can make it like the current is leaving from the node. See, in this diagram, the current is leaving from the node. While in this case, the current is entering toward the node. Or if you want, you can make it like that out of five branches, in some branches, current is entering. While in remaining branches, current is leaving. So, overall, the concept is the total current whether it is completely entering whether it is completely leaving or in some branches it is entering or in some branches it is leaving the total algebraic sum is going to be equals to 0. So, 
now you can easily write the equation from all the three uh, node is showing the same concept so now you can write the equation like this firstly you will have to mention the current since i have a bran five branches so i am mentioning like i1 i2 i3 i4 and i5 and this is your node a so you can say that the total current that means summation at i node is equals to 0 when when you have total 1 is equal 1 to 5 you have total 5 branches now that is why I am writing 1 to 5. So, or you can write it is like i 1 that means this one current plus i 2 plus i 3 plus i 4 plus i 5 is equals to 0. If you are mentioning your node like this you have to write like this. But in this case if you are uh, mentioning like this that means you are leaving the current then again the concept is going to be same that the first thing is you will have to mention the current across each branch. Now the next is the total current at this node is equals to 0 leaving current leaving current leaving current this current then this current and the total current is going to be 0. Again the same equation you are getting the same equation from this one. Now what about the this third structure in which you are getting you are showing some current is entering by some current is leaving. So the total current is equals to 0 or you can say that for this structure you can write that your entering current is equals to leaving current. or you can say that your to total current is equals to 0 the same concept. So, now what will be the equation? The first thing is you will have to mention the, uh, the notation for the di direct current this is I1, I2, I3, I4, I5. Now you can see that I1 and I2 is entering that means I1 plus I2 while I3, I4 and I5 is leaving that means equals to I3 plus I4 plus I5 because entering current is equals to leaving current. If you do not want to write like this, you can make it like minus of these three. So, the total is equals to 0. So, overall the concept is that the entering current minus leaving current is equals to 0. That means the total algebraic sum at any node is going to be 0. This is about the concept of KCL. Here I am just considering one node and just writing the equation when you are we are considering only one node. But, but when you are going to solve the questions in any of your given circuit you may have one or more number of nodes. In that situation you will have to write equations for each of your node. If in any of the question you are finding you are getting suppose 3 number of nodes you are getting just by analyze the equation then you will have to write 3 node equation each for each node. Fine if you have 4 nodes if you are getting 4 nodes from your circuit then you will have to write 4 equation for each of the node. This is about and the concept will be the same for each node that means the total algebraic sum at each of the node is equals to 0. It does not matter, it does not uh, differ if you have one or more number of nodes in any of the circuit. So, this is about the KCL, fine. So, now the next is KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law. See, this law is going to be more dominant in terms of voltage drop across the circuit. Now, the next thing is or the statement about KVL is just like KCL here we can say that the total voltage drop across any loop or mesh in any circuit is equals to 0. I am again repeating if you are uh, see uh, the if you are going to understand both the topics uh, by making a proper comparison between these two it is going to be more simple to understand. I am again repeating the total voltage drop in any loop or mesh of a circuit is equals to 0. Now the thing is where the voltage is going to be drop, the voltage is going to be drop across the circuit elements. 
you may have number of circuit elements like resistors capacitors or many more in any of your circuit so whatever the voltage you are going to apply as a input source that applied input source is dropped across each of the circuit element and then the total voltage drop is equals to zero now the new thing is that as i am saying that the total voltage drop across loop or mesh so now the next thing is what is loop basically and what is mesh so the loop is just a path that terminates itself from where it is started just like see i am just considering one simple circuit here you have a simple circuit in which you have two loop now how i am saying that here you have two loops because see this is your first loop and this is your second loop now the thing is how i am defining this because loop is a path loop is a path where it terminates itself from where it started just like if i am starting to travel from this point then after the coverage of this complete path i am again coming toward this point that means that complete termination from starting to again starting point is considered as as a loop similarly in this section if you are considering this point as a starting point and from here you are starts to travel then again you comes at this point then this also can be considered as a loop now the thing is how it is different from mesh mesh is nothing but similar to loop but a loop may have number of meshes in itself but a mesh is a single closed path in which you cannot consider number of loops in itself this is the only difference between loop and loop or mesh but to understand uh, the proper statement about this you will have to consider that the total voltage drop across any circuit element in any loop or mesh is going to be zero now what about its statement what about its its expression to understand its expression i am just taking a simple example here i have a voltage source and i am representing it v s since it is a source that's why, that's why i am writing it vs otherwise you can mention it v in that for v input or you can write simple v here i have two resistors in my circuit r1 and r2 this is i have a simple circuit and here i have one loop this is my loop now as per the concept of case vl the total voltage drop across this loop is going to be zero see this is the voltage you are providing to your circuit that means the some part of this applied voltage source is dropped across this resistor while the remaining part is going to be dropped across this resistor that means whatever the voltage you are providing over here is going to be distributed across r1 and across r2 so if you are applying suppose if you are applying 10 volt battery that means some part of 10 volt is dropped across r1 and some part of 10 the remaining part not some part the remaining part is going to be dropped across r2 that means the total whatever what about the total voltage drop you can write that vs minus vr1 minus vr2 is equals to 0 that means if you are considering the complete loop that means the total voltage drop is equals to zero if you want to consider one more element like this or if you want to extend one more resistor r2 r3 this is your r2 this is your r3 now what will happen now this applied vs is going to be distributed this vs is going to be distributed across all three resistors so now the supply you are applying over here is distributed among three vr1 plus vr2 and vr3 that means if you are using 10 volt battery then some part of the 10 volt is dropped across r1 now 
the remaining part after dropping R1 is going to be distributed among these two. So, overall the thing is your Vs applied voltage is distributed among these three. So, the total voltage drop Vs minus Vr1 minus Vr2 minus Vr3 is equals to 0. This is about KVL. Now, the important thing about these two laws is that KVL is just providing a concept in which you are getting that the algebraic sum at any node is going to be equals to 0. Similarly, the concept which you are getting from KVL is that at any loop or in any mesh, the total voltage drop is equals to 0. These two concepts are very helpful, very useful because with the help of these two concepts, you are you will be able to solve some complex circuits or some network theory related circuits which may looks like this or may be more complex. So, these are just the concept. You, you, you will have to learn how to apply these concepts in applications, but for that you will have to understand one more topic and the topic is node analysis and mesh analysis. Because in node analysis, analysis you are going to apply your KCL, while in mesh anal analysis you are going to apply your KVL. So, here from from this video, you are just able to learn about the concept of KVL and KCL. For the application of these two concepts, in order to solve the questions, you will have to learn one more concept related to node and mesh analysis, which we are going to discuss in our next video. Then we will learn how to solve questions with the help of KVL, KCL and node and mesh analysis in combined manner. So, we will discuss in the next video. If you are going, if you are following the concept, consider to subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get updated for the upcoming videos. Thank you.